What? It's freaking out. No, it's working. No, it's working. Our Yo, what's up? Really small. Hey. Hi. It's McCracken at midnight. Featuring Brian the Bastard. That's right. Happy Valentine's Day again. Uh, yeah, and um, in honor of Valentine's Day, and also by accident because we forgot, but we're doing it anyway. It's not by accident. It's not. It, I don't we know. didn't forget. But we're doing uh, our bunny themed show today. Check it out. Check it out. Look at all this bunny footage I got. Oh, we got lots of bunny footage. I only keyed some of it out though. That's all I keyed out. Look at the size of that bunny. Ooh, oh, that's a German giant rabbit. Oh, look, at those guys. Guys. Look, at, look at those guys. They're really cute. They're great. People gotta see this shit. Well, how, uh, mm, shit. Uh, I got like 20 minutes of this. <laughs> of just bunny videos. Okay, we can also just talk over it. Oh, look at a baby bunny. I know, right? Look at that one. Fuck. Um. I like, oh, wait, this one's my favorite. Did I key it out? Yeah, I did. No, hang on. I don't know where it is. Oh, it's, it's here. No! I'm just gonna get rid of the keys. Let's do that. What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? Yeah, you should really be prepared for this shit beforehand. Whatever, man. I was animating. And watching babies. So, I think we should start the show with that. Oh, hell yeah. Uh, Y'all seen the movie Babies? This movie's dope. It's the best movie in the world. I've seen it. I saw it the day it came out. In theaters. I think I did too. It was, oh, thank you. Uh, it is amazing. For those of you who are not familiar with the film Babies, it's made by this French dude. It was the same French dude, as a matter of fact, who made the movie Winged Migration. Oh, yeah. Which was also really cool, but it was no babies. Basically, this guy finds these four babies. I mean, he doesn't find them. He just them. find them. He's just like, They were just lying Whoa. around. There's these four babies. <coughs> one of them is in rural Mongolia. One of them's in Tokyo. One of them's in San Francisco, and one of them was in uh, Namibia. Namibia in East Africa. Um, and uh, he uh, he just tracks these babies for the first year that they're alive. And oh. it's awesome. That's yeah, me. it's um, it's really really good. And babies are great. And there are babies in it, and the babies are so cute. Just again and again, babies. I think the tired is starting to hit me. <sighs> Slept for an hour and a half last night. Oh, damn. Oh, this is nuts. This is oh. something else. That's the Sam that runs the thing. Too many fucking Sam's anyway, in town. Anyway, uh, so... Uh -huh. Yeah, babies are pretty, pretty sweet. I love babies. Uh, um, does that go along with Valentine's Day? Yeah, babies are, you know, when on Valentine's Day, people are in love. People and are banging. People are banging and having sex and that inseminating results. each other. Yeah. And babies get born. All babies <laughs> want to get born. And um, that's, a that's, quote, that's a quote from Juno. I, I know. know um, so that goes right along with our theme show. Babies. Our theme show is love. And rabbits. And bunny rabbits. Bunnies, by accident. Ah. Um, so, uh, um, we're even more disorganized than usual. Yeah. After last time, last week's show went so well, we were like, we never it need went, to... It went too well. We were like, we never need to plan out a show again. We're just going to wing it from now on. Um, and this is what happened. Sam is sitting here um, exporting footage of bunnies from, you know, now. Uh... But, um, hey, uh, there's a couple people watching. I don't yeah, know if anyone has anything that they want to talk we about. We got six people watching. Hey, six viewers, why don't you type in some, some suggestions of what to talk about while we also think. Something Valentine's Day what themed. To talk about. Because that's what we're doing. So, um, Our next thing on the list that I'm currently making is yep. hearts. Hearts is our next topic. Human hearts? Whatever kind of hearts. So human hearts are pretty weird. Um... Uh, you know about the, um, Aztecs, right? That they used to cut out their hearts and eat them? I don't think they ate them. I think they just put them in a big bowl. Oh, yeah, okay. It was the eclipse, right? Yeah. Lunar eclipse. And they were like, the fucking snake is eating the moon. The hell with this. Let's cut some hearts out. Yeah. And that was actually the basis for the first Valentine's Day. And now Valentine's Day cards are, are uh, basically in honor 
of, of Aztec the, sacrifice. The heart removal, um, you know, because it was a gesture of love. This, you know, they were oh, trying love for to the, love for the gods. Well, they were love trying for, to save people, you know, love for Quetzalcoatl, you know, and the sacrifice. And, I don't. Know. Quetzalcoatl was a serpent, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was a serpent god. But he was the sun. Who was the moon? Aztec moon god. Um... Uh, Akomit, Akomit. Oh, dude. Um. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wind song is telling us whoever the man hell that is. Without man without a heart. heart. We're looking it up right now. We're on top. Of Rick this. Walton. No, Rick. that can't be it. Once a time. No, that's a, that's a story. No. Yeah, that's not it. Um. The Tin Woodman. As in from Dorothy and the Wizard. No, this isn't I working. Mean, man, guy. Who has no... Uh, wait, hang on. Guy who punched Snooky. Guy who plays Voldemort. <laughs> guy who takes his time lyrics. Guy who won Lamborghini, not this a is Lamborghini. What you, when you type in guy who into Googles, the first thing that comes out is guy who punched Snooky, and the f- second thing that comes up is guy, guy who, pu- who played play. Voldemort. It was replaced with fan blades, basically. Got no pulse. Do you mean Dick Cheney? Dick Cheney has because no heart. Dick Cheney's heart... Literally does not work. Well, he has no pulse. He has a heart. He, but he has, has a no heart, heart beat. But it doesn't beat. It's just a dead muscle sitting there. He has a fake heart down near his appendix that, that beats his blood for him. He, but it doesn't beat it. Here's the thing. It's just perpetually pumping just, it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you t- take his pulse, he doesn't have one. He, he is dead. He is technically living dead. Dick he, Cheney. He, literally, he is the first zombie. Has no heartbeat. It's fucked um, up. Guy who has a girlfriend, guy who has everything, guy who hasn't slept in 33 years, guy who has slept with the most women, guy who was raised by cats, eaten by bears, present for a day, and cured of AIDS. You Google people, you <laughs> care about so many interesting One of my favorite um, one of those ever also is um, the fact that if you type in... Um, uh, uh, what is it? Tax. Oh crap! I can't remember. Oh, hello, sir. How are you doing today? I think it's if you type in mass tax. Um, I think the first something that comes up is UMass taxi. I don't know. I'm fucking this up. I can't remember. Forget I said anything. In any case, happy Valentine's Day again. Who was the guy who punched Snooky, by the way? Now I'm curious. I'm gonna Google it. <laughs> everyone, guy everyone seems to want to know. Punched Snooky. <laughs> oh, it's that guy. <laughs> Apparently, we found him. He's, he's. I think I actually saw that episode. So, in spirit of Valentine's Day, or not really, but let's bullshit it and say it's in the spirit of Valentine's Day. Today, I've been taking a picture of every person with my iPhone, and posting it to Facebook, and. If you're friends with me on Facebook, you should definitely check it out because there are some golden pictures in there. Uh, it's one of me, right? There's one of Brian. That's he, all you need. He's number two, I believe. Uh, wow. Um, in any case, you should check that out. It's called People's Faces. And it's all people's faces. Oh, we found it. Oh, uh, uh, we it, found it, the, uh, the heartless dude. NPR. National Public... P- P.R.I. Public Radio International. Um, just while we're talking about this, um... Oh, no, I forget what I was gonna say again. What do you think of the band, The Heartless Bastards? I really like The Heartless Bastards. Dude, I saw them open for, uh, what? They opened for Wolf Mother, yeah. and they also played with the new number two, which is yeah. Danny Harrison's band, they were really good. Yeah, Heartless Bastards, I think they're great. I really, really like. You know, I like their studio stuff better than they were live. She really? kind of has that like annoying, like sexy <sighs> rock and roll chick vibe on stage, where she just kind of like sways back and forth with, with the her hair. eyes closed, and no one does anything. And I was just like, their show kind of put me to sleep. Yeah, Guitar Diva too. Like had yeah. like nine less Pauls and like changed them every set. I, was I like, get it. Calm down. Yeah, that's annoying. But yeah, I really like the Heartless Bands. God, oh my. Goodness, okay. What the hell is that? It's acrylic, it's acrylic paint. No, no. Just 
pull it, just pull it, just yank it. Just, no, no! <laughs> yank the paint! I'm no, the paint! I'm trying to! You fucking jerk it up! Oh, mm. Sorry. Happy Damn. Valentine's Day. <laughs> anyway, okay, this guy. Let's see what happens. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see uh, skinny if you here. listen to his, her chest with a stethoscope, you wouldn't hear a heartbeat. If you examine her arteries, there's no pulse. If you to, okay, that doesn't tell me anything. Rip it off like a band aid. Yeah, no. I, done, Jazz. We who took care I of I assume it. maybe a Jasmine. You're giving them away. What? It's Jack. What? What? I don't know. That hit the th that was right on. That was yeah, really cool. Do it again. I know wait. what you're doing. Wait. Oh, you missed that. Oh, you can't wait. see it. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, it is. Anyway, uh, okay. <sighs> this is too many words. I don't care. He's got no heart. It's the same. He's just Dick Cheney, but like, it's, it's not as funny because he's not. It's just Dick he's Cheney. not evil aside from that. <laughs> so um, we're not we're not as amused. So, um, speaking of body parts, I've been, we're, we're both animating pretty hardcore tonight, and uh, we actually want to get back to that really badly. I'm animating a fetus right now, and it looks pretty weird. And speaking of hearts, I did surgery on it today. I was trying to actually insert it, it prenatal like surgery. this guy, prenatal surgery, it like this guy from NPR did not <laughs> have a heart, and he was born without a heart. And so I had to insert the heart into the fetus, but I couldn't do it. I had to, I cut open, I laid it down, and I spread its arms and legs out, like, really far, so it would be stable. And then I took a really sharp knife, and I cut into its back, like, into the back, between two of the ribs, and opened it up with pliers, like, like, uh, what do you call them, like... Like, like, little mini fetus rib separators, Yeah, rib, you know? rib separators. I opened it up. I used other pliers to go in there and dig out the wires that lead up to the, the headlight. And, uh, no, I did not film it. And, uh... <laughs> you should have just made an animation of this, dude. I really should have. And, um, I, and it was funny, too, because it's like, the way I made it, there's, like, layers and layers of saran wrap and glue and floss. So I was, like, cutting it, and stuff was, like, blooming out of the hole. This floss was blooming out of the hole. And, um... And then I dug the wires out, and I cut them, and I was soldering all together, and then the heart didn't work, because the stupid light bulb takes too much voltage from the two 9-volt batteries I have hooked up to it, so the LED can't even run. In fact, it acts as a resistor. Since it's such a simple thing, it acts as a resistor, so that when the LED is plugged in, when the heart is plugged in, the brain doesn't even light up anymore. Yeah, hell with that hell with that so i'm just gonna not have but a heart. the fetus looks beautiful anyway yeah it We've, looks pretty cool he's been shooting it it looks good it looks it looks okay it looks better than my frankenstein i think so. your frankenstein looks good he's getting there he's getting there all right let's talk about something let's talk about uh pizza pizza <clears throat> hey man there's a real uh pretty is a problem people talking about what pizza around here is good or not good. Yeah. And mostly comes down to El Mundo, Crispy Dough, and Penguin. And there's like, people get pissed about this shit. I get pissed about this. I get pissed about it. I, I absolutely I get pissed about this. Some people really like Penguin. I am not a big fan of Penguin. Can I just say, I'm not a big fan. <laughs> Why? Who the fuck is Patrick it's, Warburton? It's it's Putty. Oh, Putty! <laughs> it's Putty. On the flip side. Uh, anyway, Penguin. <laughs> I do not like Penguin Pizza. I just don't like it. I think that the vegetables are cooked right. I think that it's too, like, trying to be cool and stuff like that. When I want pizza, I want it just greasy, slapped out of the plate, thrown in the oven, been sitting in the thing for six hours. I don't care how many flies have been on it. That's the kind of pizza I want. You cook it to get the bacteria off, then you pour it down my throat as liquid. That's a little bit much. That's what I want. And you know what? Crispy dough is great because their pizza is awesome. And their crispy, their dough is crispy. And El Mundo is great because it's so greasy and the pieces are big. I love both of those places so much. And then there's this other place that we always get at school here, Ken, Ken, Ken Staros or whatever. I don't know that one. It's what we have it. It's what we have at Spink. 
And oh, wait, wait, wait. I thought that was, we got crispy dough. No, no, no. And it is so good. They have this portobello pizza. Oh, boy. Anyway, what do you like? I'm pretty fucking devoted to El Mundo. El Mundo's good. I love El Mundo. The buffalo chicken is just like a show. And they're open till 2. Which is late for Boston, unfortunately. So it's great. Uh, Patrick Warburton. He's a cool guy. Putty from Seinfeld. Um, apparently he, he was... He also played the tick. The tick. On the live action. On the live action, the, the tick. tick. Um, he also played some other people. He was in a car commercial a few years back. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember that. Um, Family I, Guy, yeah, he's 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 Joe on Family Guy. I guess he was also in uh, The Emperor's New Groove. Yeah, he was, uh, what's Crunk? The big guy? Crunk. I don't remember. It's Crunk. His name is Crunk. That Crunk. movie had Sting in it. Crunk. Too it had much. had Sting in it? Didn't it? Who was the fucking dude who was, wrote the music? I don't know. No, that was, you're thinking of Tarzan. You're thinking of, of what's his face in, in the legend of Tarzan. Whatever. In any case, oh, he was, was all also downhill after the line. Steve came. Barkin on uh, Kim Possible. Um, hot cheesy liquid. Uh, yeah. Dopethrone. Dope throne. Dope throne. Is that like dope nose? Uh, well, dope throne is actually an album. By Electric Wizard. Um, probably their best album. Really down tempo, really grindy. Uh, if you don't know Electric Wizard, good like early '90s stoner metal. Um, yeah. What? Uh, why do? You... Oh. They just. You know him? Yeah. Yeah. It's a fucking teacher. I know. Um. Wow, dude, I know someone with a Wikipedia page. That's pretty cool. I had a Wikipedia page for a while. You, personally? I, I edited it myself, but... Uh, <clears throat> I can tell you you're not supposed to do that, but the hell with that. No, I know. Information wants to be free. You know, put all the lies about yourself you want. SMFA Wikipedia. students and teachers that may be watching alike, what's really fun, a really fun thing to do, just, you know, for if you're bored in an afternoon... A uh, really fun thing to do is go to the SMFA Wikipedia. Go to the School of the Museum of Fine Arts Wikipedia. Create a subcategory with your name and just type four paragraphs of a biography in there. Yeah. And see how long it'll stay on there. As if and you're the only student at the school. And make shit up. And just make crazy stuff up. Like, Sam McCracken once tore a hole in the roof in order to shoot a film and then by not replacing it caused the school to be shut down for 15 years. After flooding. After flooding. And then he aged backwards 15 years and fixed it and then everything went back to normal. That's as if what, nothing ever changed. That's what happened, man. I was there, man. I, I know what happened. Uh, uh, well, look, eight, eight viewers. Oh, man. Back to Valentine's Day, though. Back to Valentine's Day. Um... um do you uh, flash drive? Yeah, I do. Uh, yeah, back to Valentine's Day. <coughs> Valentine's uh, Day gifts. Well, first of all, who thinks Valentine's Day is just, like, commercialized stuff? It's a chance to, like, sell fucking cheesy chocolate to people and, like, you know, uh, pharmacies to make a quick buck. I don't care. I don't think it's that. Well, no, I do think it's that. But, yeah, Hallmark Holiday, that's right, also. Yeah, so we got a couple people for that one. Who thinks it's a great celebration of, of love? I do. Both physically and emotionally. I think it is that. I think it is the best kind of celebration. It's just like, everybody, it's not even about love with a partner. It's just about love in general. It can yeah. be about, my dad always makes a huge deal out of Valentine's Day. When we were kids, he used to... Every morning, you know, every morning my dad would get up before us anyway, but he would get up and he would make each of me and my brother and my sister and my mom, he would make us all Valentine's Day cards with our own poems and put them in our jacket pockets. So when we would put on our jackets for school, we would find our dad's Valentine's Day card. <coughs> hey, this uh, is so great. Were you ever, you know, in school and, and, you know, you had on Valentine's Day, you'd like, like, take, 
little fucking bags on your decks yeah. and go around and give stuff to Yeah, people. we decorated them. We, we had the paper bags. We had to bring our own paper bag and then we decorate it. But obviously you're required to give everyone in your class a card. Yeah. Because, like, you don't want to be a dick and leave someone out. And the thing was, when I was a kid, I had a lot of enemies. I mean, even when I was a little kid, I had a lot enemies? of enemy, enemies. Like, like arch enemies? Like, like, like nemeses. You fucking die, enemies. Uh, yeah, yeah, I got picked on a lot. Um, I didn't take that shit from nobody. Nobody. Why, why can't I start, stop throwing shit at the camera tonight? I don't anyway, know. I, uh, I, I didn't take crap from people, and I got in a lot of fights, even when I was a little kid, so I had a lot of enemies. But I was still required to put Valentine's Day cards in these kids little bags that always felt weird to me i always liked it uh i always made my own valentine's day cards oh yeah i made mine yeah i, I always made mine um i was always very nice and uh, every once in a while there'd be a girl that i would try and like make an extra special one for like make the heart look like a heart rather than just like some like quick like 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 you'd make it look like a human heart with like valves and no shit that's actually from it. the simpsons that's from a lot of stuff. That's from a lot of stuff. You're Plenty right. Plenty of people had that idea. Uh, but um, yeah, yeah, you know, I think I, I think um, I'd I'd pick a girl to do that to arbitrarily, just because it was Valentine's. Just Day. like any girl. I felt like I had to. I mean, not just any girl, but it was like it's yeah. Valentine's Day. Like, who's it gonna be this year? Like, I, it's gonna be someone. Like, I, yeah, I bet they were waiting. I can't just be jerking who's, off. Who's Brian gonna pick this year? I hope it's me. Yeah. Cindy. Uh. No, Cindy, it's going to be me. Susan. Uh, yeah, this is a good show. Uh, this is a great show. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thanks um, for uh, supporting free media and yeah. uh, and um, competing with primetime. Um, We're going to have a big surprise for you in about nine minutes. That will literally last the rest of the show. Yeah, you're not going to believe what's going to happen. It's, this is why we haven't done anything this show, because we're just gearing up for this. It's going to be great. It's we're taking... still going to be here. We're still going to be here talking to you, but you're going to be wa you're gonna be watching something that's just so great. You may be able to see us sometime. You're going to pee. You're gonna literally pee <laughs> everywhere. Everywhere. You're gonna <laughs> pee. Yeah, that's right. You're gonna pee everywhere, uncontrollably, and it's not gonna stop. Um, yeah, yes. Wait, which word more often? P. You aorta. You oughta. You aorta. Start using that word more often. Which word? No, but it's a joke. You aorta. Start using that word more often because like aorta is. Everyone is so, but whatever. Aorta is a word that should be used more often. You aorta start using that word more often. Yeah. Okay. How's the? Hey guys, how's the sound over on the? Uh, is the sound a lot better now that yeah, we're? Yeah, no, we're still working the kinks out here. Get that shit out of your head. We're still working the kinks out here at this. Uh, more of Sam White's well, working the kinks. We're well, still working the kink. This is pretty good. Okay. Freak, fucking mouth uh, I just like put my mouth on it. Up until you did the flight pilot thing. Yeah. Um, thirty-five percent. So anyway, um, what do you got planned this Valentine's Day, Brian? What are you doing? Uh, nah, nothing. What is it? Tuesday? It's Tuesday. We're going to class. It's Tuesday. I got class. I had my girlfriend up for the weekend though. And we made a chicken pie. We made a chicken pie about this big, and we ate the whole thing. Something and they were still hungry, and we ate a fruit pie, a fruit tart about the same size. Oh, pie and then tart, we were, man. and then we were still hungry, and we ate some mac and cheese. And then we were probably could have eaten more, but didn't. That's a lot of food. That's how we roll, man. Your, your stomachs must have been distended to the point of explosion. Nah, dude, it was cool. Was it cool? Free ice cream at Ben and Jerry's today. Whoa! Did you hear that? Free ice cream at Ben and Jerry's. Free ice cream today. at Ben and Jerry's today. Where's there a Ben and Jerry's near here? There's one on. There's one in the Prudential. There's one in the Prudential. There's one. You in the asked me what my plan for Valentine's Day was. Going I have my plan for Valentine's Actually, Day. Actually, I might do that too. Oh, god damn. There's one in the Prudential. Newbury. Newbury Street. Yes, there's one in Newbury Street. That one's weird though. It's down those stairs. Out of disc space. Crap. Out of dick space. God damn. I'm out of disk space, guys. The world doesn't want you to get your surprise, but we're going to make it happen. 
Uh, move that I'll, del over. I'll delete these five episodes of Archer. Oh, wait. I think I was... Oh, no. Delete these five episodes Archer's of Archer. Archer's on Netflix, dude. It's new episodes. I guess. I, I guess? Um... Anyway. Yeah, we're rendering stuff. No, we're not rendering stuff. We're actually exporting stuff. Yeah, we're exporting. Now, now the rendering turned out fine. Yeah. Um, oh, my God. This is going to be so good, you guys. You don't even know. Let's see how much space I have. Hopefully, that, that, should, be, that should be plenty of space. Is this, like, just on your regular hard drive? Yeah. That's unhealthy. No, it's totally normal, dude. I guess I've definitely been in that situation before. Yeah. 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 Right. Hey, so I figured before we get too much further, we should do our art and stuff segment. Art and stuff. This uh, is this is. I know what I'm gonna do for art and stuff. Art, art, art. You don't need to do it. I'm doing it. Do it on my hand. Art and stuff. In case you don't know, uh, we'll do, do it. Do it. We'll. Uh, art. Art and stuff. Okay, since we are in art school, we feel obligated to do a segment on every show about art, and the segment's called Art and Stuff. <laughs> so, uh, today on Art and Stuff, we're doing, um, we're talking about this thing, and I can actually throw a link up, because I can't really show it. Actually, I could. Um, um, Change your thing. Huh? Yeah, can we go on the internet on this cat? Yeah. All right. Basically, I'm in this class right now. It's called Intro to Hacking, and it's awesome. And we're learning this program called Processing. And um, it's kind of difficult to describe, but um, one of the main things that people use it for is visualizing data. And um, there is uh, an artist named... Um, I'll know in a second. Art and stuff. Sam, help me out here. There's, uh, I don't know what you're talking anyway, about. Anyway, it's it's a it's a computer web-based art oh. thing called Dreamlines, and I can't quite find who the artist is right now. But uh, it's easy to find. You just type in Dreamlines. It's the first thing that comes up on Google, and it's also uh, on the processing uh, website on like page eight or something of their examples thing. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, um, it's really cool, and basically the way it works, and we're going to show it to you in, in a second, is they have, I'm not sure if they just use the internet or if they have their own database, but it, it, you type in keywords, and it finds images on the internet, and then kind of compiles them together and visualizes them and redraws them and uh, abstracts them, and it's very, very, very cool looking. So we're about to show it to you here, right now. Where is it? Uh, Ah, okay, wait, hang on. So, um, guys, pick a word. Pick any word. And Sam, bring the chat up so we can see them. Pick uh, a word! Pick two words, as a matter of fact. Anybody. Just, just any word. If you don't pick a... Battle axe! Battle axe! Do Perfect. it! Perfect. So we're going to type in... Battle... battle. E, E, E. Now it's going to do it's some gonna, stuff. It's going to uh, um, kind of give you a little show here. This is pretty sweet. Yeah. Just hang out. Your dream is loading. Oh, I like the sound of that. Now the internet up here, I mean, this computer is kind of kind of uh, tankish. So. As well as, you know, you guys are on a lag, or we're on a lag, rather. So you're hearing this about eight seconds after, or five seconds after we're actually saying it. As well as the stream is a crappy stream, so it's, you know, So I hope this, a bit this there's a distinct possibility that this could just never load. But we're hopeful. Great googly moo, great googly boogly. Uh, oh look, six minutes. Hey guys, this isn't working. Well, I'll tell you what, we're gonna. I think we should retry it with sludge puppies. Sludge puppies. Because well done, uh, 
dope thrown in goose. Sludge puppies is just a really good womp womp womp. Oh yeah, okay. Trend hat. Oh yes, thank you, Tang. Trend hat. Well done. Well, you know what? We're not gonna be able to do it with anything. So I'll tell you what. Um, go to. Oh, what the hell is that? Let's... Type this in. We'll get. We'll send you the link, and you guys can uh, do whatever you want on your own time. You can stop watching our shitty show and look at this cool uh, web art. Um, Where ta Sa Sam is typing right now. Okay. This is the link for you guys. Go there and do some crazy stuff. Type in some keywords and it'll bring them up and it'll be great. We're I'm gonna, gonna we're gonna let Battle Axe keep rolling so if it ever gets working on our uh, fuck faced computer over here. It's, I'm, um, I'm trying to load sludge puppies right now. Trying to load sludge puppies. Here, Whoever here, suggested sludge puppies, find a new one, because we're doing sludge puppies. Hey guys, so now you can see us and Whoa! Alex. Yeah, it's wow! Cool, right? <laughs> the wonders yeah, of technology. Run Java. Oh man, I hate it when Google Chrome does that. Hey, what do you guys think of Google Chrome? I love Google Chrome. I love Google I'm Chrome. I'm trying really hard to love Google Chrome, but it, it Inactive just. Inactive plugin. It's you always. Know, processing doesn't work in it though. Processing doesn't work. It just well. doesn't work. Java stuff in general, it has trouble with, and I think they're still kind of working some of the kinks out of it. They are definitely. Um, but it's just like. It's just really, I don't know. Weird. The weird thing is, like, I'm kind of preferring Safari in a way now, Ugh. because you you think that since it's made by Apple, it would be more Apple-y, which is Apple-y is now a verb when referring to computers that exists. Uh, it doesn't mean that it has anything to do with Apple. It just means that the program is trying to tell you how to do what you want to do rather than letting you do it the way you want to do it. Well, so, you know, you're not the program isn't working for you, you're working for the program. Yeah, That's, but you got you got to understand like Google's whole concept behind Chrome is that it was their first step at creating their own operating system which was Chrome OS. Mm -hmm. um, and which is actually a really cool idea, which is that the entire operating system is a browser. It's all browser based. Yeah. They actually use Chrome OS. And it works really well if a lot of people would use it because it's open source. People can submit their own applications to it. It all runs in the browser. All you need is an internet connection. This reminds me of Linux, dude. Yeah, it, it, that's almost exactly what it is, uh. except it's Unix. It's Mac OS. Ah, uh, Unix system. I know this. That's what Linux and Mac both are. That's why they're so good. Uh, hence, slow pro so like Maya. I don't... I don't know where you got Maya. No, Linux only. but that's not that's not Maya. That's not Maya the program. That's that's Maya, like the the Maya, like the people of Mexico in the you know 14th century. Oh, the whatever. Mayans. Yeah, the Maya Maya. You know. What about the Maya? Um, I don't know. She's not talking about Maya the program because it's spelled with an I. Yeah, you're right. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Um. Uh, our stream fucked itself. Our stream is fucked. Twelve viewers. Well, whatever. We we're, it. we're still. We're, you know well, what? You know what? We're, we're on perfect streaming. I, I'm getting rid just, of this. Just go. Oh no! Wait, we're back. We're back. We're back. We're, we're back. back. Oh, hey everybody! Kinda. I'm getting, so, I'm getting uh, rid of this. Yeah, get rid of that guy. Go back to uh, screen. No camera. Oh no! Goose was talking about the program. Hey guys, sorry yeah. about that. Got a little interruption because of processing. Yeah. Piece of crap. Jesus, what the? What? Oh, no, I was, I was pooping myself. Uh, anyway, art and stuff. Uh, hey, oh, also, another good processing site. Isn't art and stuff great? Art I love this stuff. segment. Uh, just keep throwing them up there also. Uh, can we make a more aesthetic set? That is not our job. Um, pretty I actually soon, pretty. I really like that. We'll honestly. be able to first of all move your head, Sam. Tom Clancy. Hey, here. Tom, so how buddy, much more? How, you doing? how much more sexy can you get? Than, What's up, than, Tom? Than Tom Clancy, our 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 co-host, Mr. Tom Clancy. And pretty soon we'll be able to key this green screen out, and we'll be able to make whatever background we want. So but like bunnies. Like bunnies, for example. Just in case we wanted to just. Plaster the screen for some with, reason. with bunnies for the rest of the show, which we're not gonna do. No, absolutely not. No. Uh, 
anyway, back to art and stuff. Art and stuff. Alternatively, I'm working in, uh, speaking of Maya, I'm working in the digital 3, 3D imaging program Blender. And uh, my current project is to make uh, a steam engine and cart. Not in the program. He's just going to build one. I'm going to build one and take a picture of it. And, and then render it. And then render it. In 3D. In 3D. Computer. So I'm just doing two things at once. Uh, but no, you guys should definitely... Ch I, I, for any of you interested in any kind of animation or um, uh, 3D graphic design or anything like that, you should definitely check out Blender because it is a free and open source and built on Python... Uh, application for 3D imaging, and it's really user friendly and simple. You guys should definitely check it out. Um, that's all I really have to bring to art and stuff this week. Um, where, which, what's it called again? I wasn't listening. Blender. Blender. Like out. the appliance. Like the appliance. Open source stuff is always good. Free stuff. Wait, did you say it was open source or just free? It's both. Open source and free are both very good things. They help. I think, good. I think we got crispy and fucked again. Crispy and fucked. We're still there. I wonder... Hey! Hey, when we go black, is that just our screen pooping out, or do we, like, disappear for a yeah, second? Yeah, can you guys still hear us and stuff like that? Oh, snap. It censored me. Yeah, it, it censors Goose. You see us? Oh! But do you always see us? You, or when we go black, though, do you get does it go black on your screen too? No, you freeze, but you're back. Okay. Yeah, we're still obviously working out the kinks here again. It's, it's getting kinky, you know. Sam White. It's very Sam kinky White's over here. Sam White's a kinky son of a bitch. He's very kinky. We're but all we're all. It's Valentine's Day, you know. It's just yeah. we're open to kink and kinkiness and getting kinks in the hoses. But they actually have a new computer coming eventually. Don't do they, they really? That's what you told me. I don't know. That's what they're hoping for. I don't know if, yeah. they, if they're um, actually... Here's a piece of wood. Oh, with this picture on it. Yeah, um, that was... They were broadcasting just this this weird, uh, like, Xerox of a photograph for the bulk of the day, I think. Um, so, uh, what else has to do with Valentine? Candy! Let's talk about candy for a second. Um, I, my roommate came home with, like... You, you know, sometimes you get condoms like in those like banners yeah yeah um uh uh my roommate came home last night with lollipops like in one of those nice and um and it was like a dollar for like 15 of them or some shit okay what are we gonna do about this can you do it on my computer this is on your thing no this is your drive oh Take some shit off of there. Well, I'm not gonna get a little. Keep talking about candy. Uh, candy is pretty big. You know, I have a, I have a, I have a pretty sensitive, uh, sweet tooth. But um, but I freaking love Valentine's Day because of the candy. Cause I love hard like sugar candies. Um, I love oh. candy necklaces. I love lollipops. Uh, I love heart shaped chocolates. I love those Windsor. Uh, what what is it? The the wet, well well welcomes. What's that brand of chocolate, you know, that comes in, like, the yellow box? I don't fucking clue. I don't know, but it's really good. Uh, what else do I like? I like getting flowers on Valentine's Day. They're just not looking at it now, apparently. I'm in favor of, uh, 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 let us see your butts. Hey, you know, again, we can swear, as you can say, I'm not watching my language at all. In fact, I swear more when I'm on SM SMFA TV as a statement to the fact that this is free, uncensored, independent media, and we could, we could, um, we could do a show naked if we really wanted to. I mean, we could, but I don't think we should. I, th I think because we can, we have to. I'm Abraham Lincoln. Um, I'll show you my butt someday. Yeah, Brian will show you his butt someday. I probably won't show you my butt, but it's it's really just because I don't have a butt. Uh, I, I had a terrible butt accident, and my butt was literally blown off. And now it's just like a flat, it's like a flat shelf, like a, like a, like a wall. It's just a butt wall. Uh, it got chopped off all the way to my, my anus, 
So it's like it's like it's like my anus is just an eye. You've got a cat butt. I've got a cat. I've got a cat butt. It's just like my anus is an eye in the middle of my hips. All right, see if you got it now, dude. So <coughs> empty the trash. I'm gonna empty the trash. We're working on your Valentine's Day surprise right now. But when I eat candy, my butt. It. I just don't. I just forget about my butt. When I eat candy, my butt. The the thoughts of my butt just go away. And I remember the times when I had a butt, and I could fall on my butt, or I could sit on my butt, or I what could... What are you sitting on now? Uh, I'm sitting on my anus. You don't have a prosthetic? No, I don't have a prosthetic butt. I'm just sitting directly on my anus. Just, it's, it's, it gets chapped frequently. It's really not, it's not pleasant for anyone. Uh, sometimes it bleeds. No, there's still not enough space. Fuck. This is a four gig video. Dude, go get your uh, external hard drive. I don't want to go all the way downstairs again. Hang on, I'll just export it's not it again. Downstairs. It's much across the smaller. Hall. Dude, it took no, like an hour it's, to export. It's home, it's home. It's my hard drive's at home. Okay. Uh, Sam's ruining your surprise, everybody. I'm not ruining I'm I'm ruining nothing. I'm not a ruiner. Ru however, a ru a ruer. A ruiner I am. I create runes and cast spells with them. Oh, we lost a viewer. Someone was like, fuck this. That's, that's really okay. We're, you know. Some people just don't like Valentine's Day. Some people just hate love. Some people just don't like love. I love love. I love love. I love being in love. I don't care what it does to me. When's the last time you got laid, Sam? I'm not actually gonna, uh... <laughs> I'm not actually going to disclose that information for multiple reasons. <laughs> Though I will have you know, Brian, I don't know why you're laughing, but it was sooner rather than not sooner. Sooner is it's going to happen. More, soon? it was more recent rather than it was recent rather not than not a long time ago. In, is what you're saying. Yeah. Yes. Do you have any plans for Valentine's Day? You got a special someone else? I might see Star Wars. No, I'm sorry, I might see Star Wars on Wednesday. Tomorrow, my special someone is my fetus. That's my special someone. I don't have a special someone. I'm, I'm all alone in the world. Um, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a sad, lonely, lonely person. It happens. I gotta get some H264 up in this mother. Um... Brian, why don't you talk a little bit? Um, well, I told you about my non-plans for Valentine's Day, because I did Valentine's Day a couple days ago. Yeah. And it was really cool. In fact, I did it for like three days in a row. Well, that's pretty sweet. Um, it was it was more or less enjoyable. You know what actually our big plan for Valentine's Day was on top of the chicken pie? Yeah. Was watching Battle for Endor. Nice. Um, I hadn't seen that movie in ages. First of all, I thought there were two of them. But it turns out that what I thought were two were just one. Um, that movie was very, very, very different than I remembered it. As in very, very, very much worse. Who's seen B Ewoks Battle for Endor? Raise your hands over the internet. No one's raising their hands, so I guess y'all haven't seen Battle for Endor. You all should see Battle for Endor. This movie's fucked up. Um, first of all, it's a movie just about Ewoks, which sounds great, but it's like really it's not. Weird. I mean, it's great for what it is. Like, I highly recommend watching it, but not because it's like a good movie. It's not. It's entertaining, but I mean, it's like it's. I mean, okay, check it out. Wilfred Brimley is in a Star Wars spinoff. That's all you need to know. Wilfred Brimley in, like, a spaceship shooting lasers with Ewoks. Like, El and a witch. Like, that's just... <laughs> what the hell else do you need in a, in, a, in a film? You know what I just thought? What? When we get the green screen on, I can bring my computer on, and I can just be like this, and we can key on my computer. Oh, cool. <sighs> um, you know, what else is up, home dogs? Uh. <laughs> Oh, also has seen, uh, and <laughs> Dick's Butts. I've both seen that Ewoks battle for Endor. Dick's Butts. Yeah, so you guys know what I'm talking about. Well done, Dick's Butts. Some good stop motion in it, though. 
um, of those piranha T-Rex things. Yeah. Good stop motion, badly printed in with the rest of the film. So they always look kind of transparent. It's really weird and, like, uncomfortable. There's this movie... It just reminded me of this movie. Uh, I don't remember what it's called, but it's basically a Godzilla. You know, it's a giant monster film about a like some kind of serpent that attacks a town and it spits this green acid. Oh, uh, that would be the um, there's. Oh, what the hell is that called? I know it. It was it starts with an R or something. Reptilicus. Yeah, Reptilicus. Reptilicus. That's it. I, I was like love the, that like, movie. Like the Finnish kaiju movie. Oh, it's yeah. so good. I've actually never seen it, but it's I know it's so my reputation. hilarious. And then they end up killing it or whatever. And then at the end of it, the best part of the whole movie is at the end of it, after they defeated it, they have to have like the, you know, uh, the, the um, ominous like, next time there's going to be a bigger monster. And <coughs> the bigger monster is literally a big anemone. You do need to see Reptilicus. Crawling under the water. That's the end of the movie. Anemone? Yeah, it's like an anemone. It's like a weird, like, tall, columnish anemone. Did they anemone. never make that movie? I don't know if they did. I should really look it up. Um, yeah, you know, people... Uh, Japan's kind of got the... Um, the... the uh, how do you say? They kind of got the monopoly on giant monster movies. But... Um, there are plenty. There are others like hidden around. I know Reptilicus was made in where was it? Uh, is it Finnish? Danish American. It's Danish. Um, so Reptilicus is Danish. There was a, a Spanish movie called Goro. Um, that was a giant monster. Um, there was a, a, a Mexican movie called Giant Claw, which is um, kind of one of the great like what ifs of sci-fi because Ray Harryhausen was supposed to do the uh, animation for it and uh, they asked him and got some schmuck to build a puppet and it looked like some schmuck yeah um, so uh, that was the death of Giant Claw I mean not the death of it they still made it but it was the death of like it possibly being good um uh and where else? Where's some other? Where's some other ones? I'm trying to think if there's like a French giant monster movie out there that I'm not thinking of. I mean, I've, I'm sure I could if I thought on it for a while, I could come up with one. But um, the monster that challenged the world. Where's it from? California. Uh, oh, it's wait. America. We yeah, don't it's need American. That. Cal- American? Not no, not American. America's got plenty. <laughs> America had Ray Harryhausen, like I said. Yeah. So, what the hell do we need with anything else? Uh, the Mighty Peking Man. Look that one up. Ugh. 1977. Mandarin. It's Chinese. Ooh. Whoa. Ooh, that That's looks... a heck of a poster. That looks good. Where are her nipples? Dude, can we can we get this, this shit up? Can yeah. you guys see this? Hang on, let me see if there's a better one on Google. Hold on a second. What did you do? Um, it's displaying a nip slip. That's not the poster, though. That's just a nip it's slip. A tiny little. We don't care about that. Tiny little thing. The host is Korean. The um, couple. Uh, I mean, it, it's a little bit different in that the host. Um, a, it wasn't part of that generation of the, the 60s and 70s, like, kaiju movies. The Mighty Peking Man, apparently, it appears to just be King Kong. Okay. Anyway, as I was saying before Sam interrupted me, oh, yeah. I think uh, the host is a little bit different. First of all, the monster isn't that big. Second of all, it was part of that generation. Third of all, it was actually really good. So it, it doesn't quite have the you same know, vibe. I watched a clip from the host. Dude. Ew. Dude. Post was great. Okay. Let me, you know. Okay. Uh, um. Oh shit. This is just slowing down more and more. I thought you said you were doing it smaller. I was. I don't know why it slowed down. Okay. Um. Check it out. I uh. Screen. 
Yeah, I actually found an image a poster for Goliathon. a different movie. Goliathon. It's Whoa. got like it, it looks like the same movie, just look at this. Slightly different. Look at that shit. I want to see that movie, man. Goliathon. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna put a couple of. Um, where are some other ones? We're missing some. Um. Some of them, Piranha Rex. Piranha Rexaurus. Somehow I think someone made that up. Yeah, probably. Anyway, um, giant monster movies. They're great. They're fantastic. Yeah, they're pretty good. Um, one of my favorites ever is actually uh, one called Planet of the Dinosaurs. Um, that's, I mean, pretty much what it sounds like. Future space travelers plat crash on a planet with dinosaurs on it. It's like uh, some pretty good stop motion and um, some friggin' awesome like synth music and yeah. some really really cheesy like Star Trek knockoff costumes. That's always good. Um, it's pretty much like everything you could want from a B movie. Like it's not abysmal. Like it doesn't make you cry watching it, but you also don't expect anything from it. Um, so it's just it's just sheer entertainment. If you got a chance to watch Planet of the Dinosaurs. Great movie, I mean, amusing movie at least, but actually great music. Ooh, who meowed us something? What's this link? I don't want to well, click on any links you guys are sending us. I'm gonna, to, like, I'm gonna click on the. You link. gotta like go see us or something. Hang it's... on, let me let me let me do it on here. Coming hot. <gasps> I'm making Susie Jerkins a Valentine. She's a cutie, all right. See, I made a big red heart. <laughs> I'm putting a place around it. It's very Susie. I hate you. Drop dead, um, Calvin. Why don't we just, um... Meow. Well done. Whoever just, you are. Why, why don't we just, um... Fire, Firefox. Firefox. Let them see it. Firefox? Not working. Yeah, it, just, it worked. Press enter. No, it didn't work. You gotta do command. You gotta do control. It's Windows. Oh, fuck a Windows. There we go. No, what? Did you do control? Yeah, I did. I think it's just having a hard time. It's it's having a hard time. Whatever, who cares? Calvin Hobbs is great. That's the point. You guys should all click on that link that's in the chat box. Because it's a really funny one. Dude, we only got seven minutes left. It's from the original Calvin and Hobbs. I don't think you guys are going to get your surprise. Hang on, I'm working on it. Hang on just a second. They're going to get it. We only got seven minutes left. They're going to get it. See? Ooh. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's You're not, surprised. It's not the whole thing, but we got a, a nice little a little, a little snippet. Ooh. Excite. Plug that into the, the thing. I got it. I got it. No, it's right. Oh, oh my God. Where did Sam go? Thank you, sir. Ooh, it's all the way hard going over here. All right, guys. So this is your Valentine's Day surprise. We're going to set up a little VLC playlist for you real quick. Pure love. What you're about to see is like if love turned, the concept of love turned into a video. It would pretty much look like this. Are you ready? Are you guys excited? And we're on that. Yeah, you are. Which we don't need. Those are eyes, not exclamation points. What are you doing? Yay! Yay! Yeah. Yeah. Hang on. It's all it's all mixed into the thing. Hang on. Can't you Hang just, on. You I, don't I, know how to use a Windows. I shh, shh, shh. Shush. I got a thing. I got a thing right here. <laughs> nice nice folder naming. Thank you. Keep your files straight. I just, I just wanna, I just wanna. I just wanna fly. I do, I do. Just oh. Yeah. Yeah. Is it only the one clip? No, it's all of these clips. Oh, ooh, ooh. Is it gonna play? I don't know if it's playing. Oh wait. Is he gonna do all of them? I, I don't know. Always on the fly here at 
SMFA TV. They're complaining. What are they saying to us? I, I know. We're trying. I'm sorry. It's really difficult. Oh, there it is. There it is. There, uh, wait. Okay, guys. Here is the surprise. Good enough. Qua. Yeah. Yeah. Badass. <laughs> Happy fucking Valentine's Day, everyone. Look at those bunnies. Wait. Oh. There's more. Whoa. <laughs> they're, in, they're in buckets, man. <laughs> it's not even playing. There we go. Tiny bunnies in cubs. Hang on, we're getting lots of good comments, I think. Boaters and bunnies 2012. Thanks, dicks butts. Let's play another one. Ferocious baby bunny out for it. You gotta right click and do play. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, I love this one. I freaking love this video. He's just floating around. He's he doesn't just even floating care. around in the water. Dude, I didn't know where rabbit, rabbits could swim. Yeah, look at that little guy. Oh, it's going on without us now. Yeah, man. Dude, it's tiny. Oh, Are you tiny. kidding? <laughs> this is my favorite one. Oh, yeah. Hang on. Yeah, it's so cute. Om nom nom dandelion. Indeed, Goose also. My <laughs> whole house thinks I'm dying right, na right now. I'm laughing so hard in the corner. <laughs> Goose, I have to ask the question, why are you watching these videos in a corner? <laughs> or alone. Get or those alone. People, get those people in. Did they see that? Look, he looked up and chewed into the camera. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, why aren't they Why aren't they looking at this? Why aren't they doing this? <laughs> Look at that shit. Look at him. The best part is it's a lag, so if something awesome happens, we can watch it yeah, twice. Yeah, we see it way before <laughs> you, and then we see it again <laughs> on the screen. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Find somebody you love and tell them that you love them. We got three minutes of this left, so... Um... Oh, he stopped. He stopped. He stopped. That's... <laughs> it keeps going, man. <laughs> I love you too, cat. He ate the whole thing, man. He keeps eating. And then wait for it, because it gets better. <laughs> How can this get it better? It gets better. Wait, dude, look at the dude's hand. That thing's like an inch long. I know, seriously. <laughs> Just wait. Just wait. Wait, no way. I think I know what's going to happen, and I can't handle it. Wait. Yes! <laughs> so happy. And oh, then that one's there's this short little clip. You know him, Tony! Ask Grasper. And that's it! That's our show for tonight. Thanks to the 11 of you for sticking around for so long. Aside from that, that 12th guy, I don't know who that is. Yeah, that 12, was. actually it was 13, and then it was 12, and then it was 11. So there were 12 of you around. What'd they go? The would they go watch prime time? Yeah, probably. Wait, it's no, midnight. That, There's no prime time. Sorry, that's like seven. That's would they go watch late night? What are late you, night. Watching, late. watching Jay Leno or some shit? Jay Leno sucks. Gross. You're welcome, Goose. You're welcome for the bunnies. Um... And uh, that's it for McCracken at Midnight featuring Brian the Bastard. Farewell from Dick Butts 2012 president. And we'll see you. Uh, see you later, we'll Dick Butts. We'll see you guys in, um, next week at Monday at Midnight. Monday, Midnight, McCracken at Midnight with Brian the Bastard. Good night, everybody. Good fucking night.